You're likely familiar with the concept of umami, which is the fifth taste that's uniquely savory and meaty. But did you know there are different types of umami? I wrote an article about this for the takeout a few years ago, so let me dig in. To explain umami fully, I first need to back up and talk about proteins. At a chemical level, what we describe as proteins, which remember doesn't have to be animal products, it could be seaweed or soybeans, are made up of amino acids. These amino acids are what we associate with the taste of umami. As humans, we are so primed to desire umami, we have evolved to have specific taste receptors on our tongue to detect it. In fact, one of our first human food sources, breast milk, has high amounts of the amino acid glutamate to trigger babies to want to feed. So how do we get the amino acids from proteins? First, they need to be freed by some sort of heat transfer or a chemical reaction. For example, grilling a steak or fermenting soybeans into miso. These freed amino acids are the reason that really good sushi have that special something. The fish has been aged, so the amino acids in his flesh have now been released and are detectable by our tongues. Now back to the fact that there are different types of umami. In addition to amino acids like glutamate, there's also nucleotides like guanylate, which is common in mushrooms, or inosinate, which is common in fish and meat. These all trigger the umami flavor and combined together creates a whole new level of complex deliciousness. Think about some classic pairings, dashi, which combines fish and seaweed, or beef stroganoff, which combines beef, mushrooms, and sour cream. Umami isn't limited to food either. Fermented beverages like beer, wine, and sake all develop glutamate during the fermentation process. Sake in particular, which is made from steamed rice and koji mold, has been found to have the highest number of freed amino acids of the three. Now that you understand umami more deeply, I hope you go forth and start layering your sources of umami to create your most savory dishes yet.